Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be unboxing my new Michael Kors bag. So just a little backstory in this bag. I don't actually have this bag just now. As in I've got it here but I'm not giving it to myself just now. Um, it is for one of my milestones, one of my personal milestones. So you guys will hear about it when I hit it. Um, but I'm not going to speak too much about it just now because all you're here for is the unboxing of the bag because it's absolutely stunning. Done in. So if you do like these types of videos, I will leave my playlist down below of where I've unboxed other Michael Kors bags, purses, I've unboxed a Louis Vuitton purse, etc, etc. So if you do like designer unboxings, then I will leave the playlist down below for you. Plus, I've also left the playlist down there of where I buy the cheapest thing on a designer's website. So right now down there, all I have is the Dior one, but I do have Gucci coming and also Louis Vuitton, and I'm also having a little look in other um, companies so I will have more of those videos coming for you guys very very shortly so if you do enjoy today's video don't forget to smash a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and let's just get on to the video Okay, so for this bag, because it is a present to myself, I had paid for the Michael Kors gift wrap. Now, I'm telling you, honestly, I need to stop getting Michael Kors gift wrap because I've already got a box up there um, from my shoes. I have a box from my earrings and now a box from this bag. Um, and, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to need to, like, stop because... I'm gonna have nowhere to put boxes and um, but what I really like about Michael Kors is it comes with this like elasticated bow because it took me a kid you know a year to learn how to do the Louis Vuitton one um, and it turned out it was quite simple but it didn't seem at the time so I like that this just kind of loops around the box um, which is really really nice and really handy and then I also have my little card in front of me with my little note for myself okay so the bag that I'm unboxing today is the Soho Large Patchwork Signature Logo Shoulder Bag and I got mine in the shade Vanilla Combo but you could get it in like a brown shade um, which was really nice as well but I kind of preferred the lighter shade I had seen it in the window in the Michael Kors shop in Glasgow um, and I just I fell in love instantly but I was like the bag was like £440 I luckily managed to get it in the sale so I'm wanting to get this video up as soon as possible so if you like the bag um, then you can go and grab yourself a little bargain over on the Michael Kors website but it was £440 and I was like oh my god like I don't even have have an excuse like I suppose I could just treat myself but I'd bought like all the other things because I was over in like I was stayed in Glasgow um for like a little holiday so I had already spent quite a bit of money um so I kind of left it um and then when I seen it was in the sale I was like no you need to give me it I need it now so um I got it and I am putting it away for one of my milestones as I said so this is the bag here it's absolutely stunning I'm going to take this little metal off because it comes with a little dust bag um, I just opened it up a little bit there just to kind of get rid of all the cardboard because I hadn't opened it up and I literally have like the box full of cardboard um, and I sometimes think it's quite annoying just to sit and pick that out in video. So it comes with this cute little dust bag um, that was folded up inside the bag. So if you are ordering a bag off Michael Kors and you don't have a dust bag in the box, don't be alarmed, it's probably inside the bag. Okay, so that took way longer than it should have. So what I really like about this bag, one of its best features I would say is that the strap can be like worn in two different ways so the strap has got this gold it's just a gold chain um please ignore my plaster I've literally snapped my nail um so it's so sore so I popped a lot of plaster on so don't catch it and it's just got this bit of leather um that will just like sit on the shoulder so it's not too thick it's not too thin either so it'll be nice um but as I said so you can wear it like that so you can wear it kind of like either crossover or over the shoulder where it'll hang a little bit lower or what you can do is you can pull it up like so and then you can wear it as more of like a, a higher up um, shoulder bag which I think is really nice because it means that it can go with, I say obviously go with any outfit because it does go with any outfit, look at the colour of it, it's absolutely stunning. Um, 
but as well it would go with any outfit because sometimes like you maybe put on a certain jacket or you wear like a certain pair of shoes say and the bag's hanging too low that it kind of clashes with the shoes or it annoys you with the jacket so you've got two different ways of wearing this which I think is really really nice um, and yeah one of the key features I would probably say with this bag. So as I said on the front you've got all your patchwork, you've got your monogram, you've got some um, leather, you've got some snake print leather and then you've also got some suede over here and then it's just got all the gold detail so you've got your gold clip at the front and it's quite a nice it's like an envelope style bag which I love the look of and then at the back it's just all the monogram which is so 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 nice. So at the back of the bag you've got this little pocket which is kind of like held shut by a little magnetic button and you would get something nice sized in there you wouldn't get something too big you'd maybe slip your phone in or something if that's a little bit easier just to kind of slip it in there rather than opening the full bag but you're not going to get too much in there but still a nice little detail having a little pocket at the back okay so to open up the bag it's just this little um button thing and you just push it down and then pull the bag up and that is it there so it's this gorgeous cream colour and if you watched my I think it's the large Safiono bag is, am I saying it right um I think that was the bag what I got like my mum got me um or that might have been the bag that I got my mum I can't remember but the bag that my mum got me was like this colour which is so nice so I'm so 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 glad that it's this colour um, and then you've got several different compartments like for such a, a small nice size bag like they're saying it's large but it's because it's a large of the uh, like model if that's what you want to call it or the style um, so in the first compartment there you've got your compartment and then you've also got a little slip at the side so you can just kind of like put in like I don't know let me know what you guys put in those types of areas I remember sometimes chuck in like in my old job I had to have like a pound for a locker not that I would take this to work um but like your pound for your locker or um I don't know like something you would just slip in and then inside is just its normal um micro cores detailing and then you've got a nice spacious section there and then in the middle you have got a zip section which the zip is just this lovely leather just the same as the rest of the bag and then when you open it up it's got a nice spacious section in the zip you'll be able to get in something um like reasonably sized it's not massive but you'll get something reasonably sized in there and then in the back section so i would say the front section's a bit bigger in the back section you've got your compartment and then you've also got an area here that has got a zip and again it's about the same size as that front slip area and then at the back of the bag in the inside you've just got micro cars and then on the monogram i don't know if you'll be able to tell from the back but you've got your mk monogram but every so often you've got like the michael kors right in so if i can try and find one i don't know if you can see it there so you've got like your mk and then you've got like your actual michael kors right in there and then the monogram is just all the way round so it's got the stitching at the bottom where the two bits meet and um, so that it's the right way up and it just goes all the way down and as I said it's quite like a envelope style bag but it's so 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 pretty um, the only thing is obviously given the colour it will maybe be a bit of a pain in case things rub if you guys have any recommendations if there's anything that you can spray on it or you can wipe on it so that it doesn't please let me know because the bag that my mum got me I went and wore a pair of jeans with it and I've got a small mark I managed to get the majority of it off um, but I do still have a small mark and it is quite annoying given like it being a designer handbag um, so if you've got any recommendations on anything that you can like spray or wipe on it so that it doesn't transfer th things can't transfer then please let me know down below because I really don't want to mark this bag it's just quite a iconic would you want to say like it's just a, 
I've never seen anything like it. So definitely one of those that I am going to treasure um, and only going to wear on certain occasions because I just think the patchwork is just so... Um, like I've never seen it before. I've never seen any designer companies do like a patchwork and then just the style of the bag I've seen before but like the actual patchwork I've never so I'm very very happy that I managed to get my hands on this bag and I'm going to be a one happy girl when I hit the milestone that I can give myself this bag. So that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Don't forget to smash a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and as I said I will leave all the links and the playlist down below to all my designer unboxings, cheapest thing on designer websites and just my designer unboxings in general. All of those links will be down below and I'll try and link this bag down below. As I said at the minute it is still in stock but be quick, run to the Michael Kors website, don't walk if you want this bag because I can only imagine it won't be there long. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Mm.